Silvco leads to Slateport, Misty leads to the Ruins of Alf. This is the GBA cross game map randomizer. Here's how to set things up. First, legally back up a copy of FireRed 1.1 US Edition and Emerald US Edition. Next, we need to create the Crystal Dust room. In a browser, navigate to domoreauso.me. Select Games Crystal Dust in the top right and download the version 2 patch. Once it's downloaded, copy it into the same folder as your ROMs. Back in the browser, you need to search rompatch.js and click on the link. Use emerald as the rom file and the file you just downloaded is the patch file. After selecting apply patch, copy the new rom to your roms file and rename it crystal dust v2. That's all the roms and we're now ready to play. In chrome browser, you can't use edge, go to kittybbox.github.io slash gbxg, all caps. Then click on go to emulator, drag each of the roms into the correct slot and wait for them to initialize. This might take a few seconds. Once you click start, it'll boot into Fire Red and you're ready to begin. However, you won't start seeing random warps until you pick a starter and reach Viridian. The emulator has a number of features, but I just want to go over randomization and saving. The seed and how much of each game to include can be configured from the randomization menu. Simply enter a new seed and click remap. If you're including every single warp, this may take a minute or two. In theory, Every seed should be completable, but if you want to be sure, some pre-vetted seed files will be made available. These can be downloaded from the GitHub page and imported from the randomization menu. If you also want to randomize the Pokemon, you need to randomize each ROM separately before loading it. Normally, the Universal Pokemon randomizer won't work on Crystal Dust. However, if you go to my GitHub, under the FAQ section you can find a special version that will. Although, it still won't work on static encounters like the Cedar would do. Finally saving. To save the game, save as you normally would, and after a few seconds a notification should appear to let you know that it's synced your save data across all three games. Even if you close your browser, the emulator should remember your progress so it can be loaded in instantly next session, but you will still need to load the ROMs. And if you want to be extra safe, you can explore this save file and store it on your computer. That's it from me, feel free to try it out and leave feedback. Please remember that it's still an alpha, so there may be some bugs. Uh, a more polished release will be coming in the future.